Hey guys, today is the Young Turks' 10th anniversary and we thought what better way to celebrate than by highlighting their top 10 moments of science coverage. When we first started our channel, a lot of people said, yay, because the Young Turks need to cover science more. But the thing is, the main show is one of the best news outlets for covering science and we wanted to show that. It's time for science. This clip is about the science behind fewer guns equaling fewer gun deaths. Don't talk about the guns, don't take away the guns, that's what they say. Unfortunately for them, the scientific method exists, and so we're going to take a look at the data. Scientific method! Data! This next one is John Iderola doing a final judgment on the mandatory school vaccination law that passed in California. Today, a victory for evidence-based politics, with California Governor Jerry Brown signing a mandatory school vaccination bill that eliminates a personal belief exemption. Evidence-based policy, yes! This is an amazing story about the wonders of medical science and a toddler whose spine was reattached after it was internally decapitated. Does anyone think that if they had prayed over the boy instead of uh, operating on him, he would have been okay? Even if you're the most religious person on the planet, you don't actually believe that, right? And so this is why we're in favor of science, because science saves lives. Science! 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 science. That is science. This is a video covering a fallout between the editor of Scientific American and Fox News. Fox News invited the Scientific American guy onto the show to talk about an issue in science. And so the Scientific American guy, of course, wanted to talk about climate change. But Fox didn't like that and wouldn't let him talk about it. So the editor of Scientific American tweeted angrily about it, and this is how Fox defended themselves. The bone that he had to pick with Fox, he said, was that he wanted to come on here and talk all about climate change. Well, our producers decide what we what we air, we right? Talk about we talk about climate change all the we time. We talk about it all the time. And we just love Jenks' comeback. <laughs> we talk about it all the time. I don't know what he's talking about. Union of Concerned Scientists uh, did a study that they released recently. Back in 2012, Fox News, 72% uh, of the time that they mentioned climate change, uh, they included misleading information. 72% of the time, okay. We love Scientific American. We actually make videos for them. So if you'd like to watch, you can check them out in the description below. This clip is on the discovery of humanity's newest ancestor, Homo naledi. Now check out how the Young Turks respond. Now, I like this story because, number one, evolution! In this clip, Jenk gathered together three of the world's top stem cell researchers to get them to try and explain what exactly stem cell research is. That was a huge feat on Jenk's part because getting these three amazing scientists in a room was pretty difficult. One of them's actually based in France, so nice work. The reason they were all together is because Praveen Singh is one of their patients and they're researching a genetic condition that she has and I was so honored and lucky that I got to be in a video with her explaining what her condition was all about. So I, I you know, all three of us are obviously huge proponents of science, but this is why we love science. That's right. This is excellent coverage of the Planned Parenthood inquiry, where Republican Congressman Jason Chavez tries to palm off this rather misleading graph as legitimate evidence. It's the reduction over the course of years in pink. That's the reduction in the breast exams, and the red is the increase in the abortions. But the reason why it looks as though it's, it was increased like that is because there's no y-axis axis in the graph. Yeah, it so just was one. Uh, there's, there's no, no y-axis. Uh. We really love this clip because Anna takes the time to explain why the graph was scientifically inaccurate based on the data set provided. I love this report so much that it inspired me to write a piece about the graph in the Huffington Post, and you can check out the link to it in the description below. And this one, Jenk goes on an awesome rant. It's basically an ode to the scientific method and scientific consensus. Check it out. It's on climate change impact that's already visible. So what do they do? Hashtag science, okay? And they try to figure it out, and they do. So this summer, they predicted ahead of time that this was going to happen again, and then it started. Yes. I love that. God, I love that. You know, that's facts, right? So there's a lot of propaganda in the political world. There's a lot of, you know, mythology in the religious world. In science, there's fact, mm -hmm. right? And they're like, here's what leads to, if you, the ocean gets this warm, it will lead to bleaching of the corals, and then this will happen. And then that's exactly what happened. Because the scientists aren't kidding, They're, it's not an ideology, okay? So that's what the other side will say. 
oh, these scientists, they've got 97% of the world scientists have gotten together in a global conspiracy mm -hmm. and they're interested in money. No, 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 they're interested in facts. That's why they predict things ahead of time and as it happens. And they're showing you stuff and then you go, I don't want to see it because I get paid by the oil companies. This is a really in-depth TYT interview with one of our favorite rock star professors, Professor Carl Hart. Now, he started off his life as a drug dealer in New York City, and he talks about his research with drug users and how we can fix drug policy. The tenth and final clip is our very first PsyQ video where we got to announce the brand new science channel on the Young Turks. Jenk, Anna and John and the whole team have worked so hard to help us get more science onto the Young Turks. We want to thank all of the Turks crew and we want to thank you guys for being such awesome viewers and for allowing us to talk nerdy on the Young Turks network. This is excellent. This is excellent. We hope, we hope we will. Three, two. <laughs> trying to make you smile, sorry. Three. I was gonna do a finger up the butt, but I feel like the unprofessional. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.